Welcome to today's class. Don't get overwhelmed by this. I will explain everything. All right. And yes, again, I just did this. It's, I can do this in my sleep. So, all right. What is higher desire? What is higher desire? Higher desire is a principle I developed. It is a concept that is very useful. It is a whole, you know, mindset mentality and you should adopt this immediately. This is one of the most important principles. All right. Higher desire. All right. So for example, let's say you're skinny or a bit skinny like this guy here and uh, you want to, you have a desire, you have a higher desire. All right. You have lower desires. I will explain soon here, but you have to sacrifice those. All right. So you're at your current state here and this is your desire state. Your current state is you. You're thinner. You are, you don't have any muscles here showing you're pretty thin. All right. Perhaps you're, some people are more obese and, but if you're obese, you actually have to, there is another step. So first you have to get to this skinny guy and then you build muscles. All right. So it's a bit different if you are obese, but, um, you gotta be realistic as well with this desired state. I will get into that. It is an imagination. It's still imagined. It's a vision. All right. This is in your mind. The desired state is in your mind. This is your higher desire. This guy here is your higher desire. This is your current state. You don't desire this. Uh, it's not even low desire when it comes to yourself, but you have lower desires, which are stuff you want to eat. You know, like you have all these sugar cravings, chocolate, soda, all that stuff is in this guy. This guy doesn't have these characteristics. So in order for you to go from your lower desire to your higher desire, you have to sacrifice sugar chocolate, soda, all that garbage, because you know, everyone knows what they have to do. All right. They have to get rid of that stuff to get to where you want to be. These are the necessary steps towards health. All right. These are the necessary steps towards health. And we can see this as your old self and your new self. So I can get deeper into this perhaps later or in a different video, but I will explain this, but the old self, this is you and you constantly renew yourself. But technically there is a spectrum here. It takes time. All right. It takes like a year from go, uh, going from this skinny guy to this guy it will take you a year. It will be like 365 days of steps and then times all the steps you have to take not literally step. Well, it is kind of literally steps because yeah, you know, you're going to train to get muscles. You have to train to build muscles. You have to eat properly to build muscles and so forth. All right. So your old self, this is you, and this is still real. So this is reality and this is imagined. This is, this is still not achieved higher desire, your higher desire, your higher goals. We think we can call them. This is your goal, for example, but technically we could speak about anything here. We could speak about other stuff as well. It doesn't have to be training or, you know, a better body, but this is necessary because diet and exercise is necessary, but it is necessary to achieve what you want to achieve. It doesn't have to be a big body. It could be marathon or it could be something else. Well, technically I don't recommend marathons because that is not good for the body, but it's too much, but we want to be like Spartans. You know, we want to be resilient. We want to be energized, strong, focused, productive. We want to be high on life. This is high on life. This is low on life. You're still lethargic. You have mood swings. You're unproductive. You're procrastinating. You're addicted to all sorts of things like sugar and food in general. You're addicted to food. You haven't even experimented with, with yourself yet. 
So from last video from yesterday, you got to self experiment to get here because otherwise, how do you understand what is, you know, making you lethargic, making you having mood swings and being unproductive and so forth and being addicted and procrastinating and delaying stuff. You got to self experiment. All right. And you're low on life because of all of this stuff. It's not just one thing that makes you low on life. It is many things and it is many things that will make you high on life. There is no one thing. All right. That's why I'm speaking of diet, exercise, sleep, meditation, all those things and more like later business, uh, sexual relations, relationships with other people, friends, family, um, everything reading, how to read properly, how to get inspired, a lot of stuff. There is a lot of stuff guys. So, and girls. So, all right. So, so, and this, this goes for, I don't care how old you are. I don't care who you are. I don't care. I only care about my golden seeds. <laughs> I only care about my golden potential potentialities out there. All right. I'm doing this for you. So you can apply this and change yourself towards health. This is always health. This is healthier than this. Having muscles is healthier than having no muscles, especially when you're younger, but even when you're older, because then you'll have muscles and your body will have energy in storage. Like if it needs muscles, it will have it still. Remember that the Spartans, they were actually still, they were soldiers up until like 60 years old. And that implies they must have had, you know, muscles and so forth. Otherwise, how, how could they be soldiers and warriors uh, carrying all these shields, heavy, super heavy shields and super heavy, you know, weapons, swords and spears. So, and, and even, you know, helmets and stuff. So, and, and, but we're not Spartans, of course, but we want to be modern day Spartans. It doesn't have to be Spartans, but. I'm thinking of Spartans because they were, you know, they weren't mediocre. We're not achieving. We don't want mediocrity here. This is not mediocrity. This is your highest potential. This is supposed to be your highest potential and your higher high, It's your higher desire, but it should really be your highest desire. Your full potential should be your highest desire. So when it comes to training, it is your genetic full potential without drugs, without because drugs goes against health. We always go from health, health, wealth, relations and spirituality. All those important areas in life stems from health. I explained that yesterday. I will explain it many times, but and I will repeat myself a lot of times because a teacher has to do that. So yeah, so you get rid of all this stuff, uh, being lethargic, mood swings, unproductiveness, procrastination, addiction, but you got to be willing to sacrifice sugar and, you know, garbage foods. All right. This has to go. This has to go. All right. This stuff has to go because you see the direction is here, but you want to go here. The, f the stuff here, the sugar cravings and, you know, sugar and chocolate and soda and chips and snacks and all this stuff has to go because th that is that is associated not just associated it is it is both in an idea associated so that's why thoughts and action they're very deeply connected all right so your mindset and your behaviors which, which are physical are deeply connected so so you got to change your mindset and your behaviors i got to change both so this, this is part of your old self. It has to go. It has to go. The, the stuff about your old self, it is connected to your old self, but this is not your desired state. All right. You don't want to be here. You want to be here. You want to be here. And if you want to be here, this has to go. This is part of the old self. This is part of the old self and it has to go. And because all of this stuff, is deeply connected to this stuff. Being lethargic, mood swings, unproductiveness, procrastination, addiction, and being in general low on life. 
we are yes sayers to life here, all right? As Nietzsche said, we are yes sayers. So not low on life, we want to be high on life. We want to be high on life and life. Life is the most important and life is health, all right? All right. But the necessary, the necessary steps here, the necessary steps are, you know, the sacrifice, but also, of course, training and stuff, because otherwise, how will you build muscles? So, and that is how you achieve these. And these are associated with this guy here. Well, this guy here. <laughs> and he's energized, he's resilient, he's strong, he's focused, he's productive. I mean, you, you might be, you know, creative and you might be, even if you don't have, you know, the body you want and stuff like that, but, but still, you could be much better. This is much better than this. This is nothing. This is, this is not your full potential. This is not satisfaction. This is closer to satisfaction. I'm not saying you're satisfied. You, you should never be satisfied, actually. So you will never actually achieve true, like, absolute satisfaction. But you will achieve very close to absolute satisfaction. All right? You shouldn't be satisfied. Because when you're satisfied, there is nothing else to improve. If diet, sleep, exercise, meditation, if you found all these things, and developed everything in yourself, that is, you know, the most enlightened being. That is the perfected human condition. The perfection of the human condition. That is what we're aiming for. But it doesn't mean that we, we don't focus on the perfection, all right? We focus on getting there. We focus on, on how to get rid of these lower desires first. This, the chocolate soda and sugar and, you know, all this stuff, carbs in general, usually, I mean, they're inflammatory. So most of those have to go. And we focus on the lower desire, how to get rid of the lower desires. We focus on our steps. And then eventually, year later, you'll get much closer to this guy here. You'll get much closer to this guy here. All right. So. So. So that's that. All right. So. All right. And so, yeah. So this is a reality right now. This is, you know, you're still imagine, it's still vision as well, like the desire state, you know, but because you have your, you have an idea of who you are, you're seeing yourself as this, you're seeing yourself as this, but, uh, but um, you're seeing yourself as this, but you have to change that and see yourself as this. And you gotta imagine yourself. So th that's where mindsets like, you know, I feel like a Spartan, I feel like a warrior and stuff like that. Those powerful mindsets, they come in in this, you know, you, you imagine yourself being this, imagine yourself being this, and uh, that will help you on the steps. So all those things, mindset and stuff, all those things, and even, you know, diet and like, let's say keto, paleo, whatever it is, all those stuff, all, all that stuff, they're just tools. There are tools for this guy, tools like a, like a hammer or something, you know, like a, like an ax or something. These are just, that's a tool, all right? That's paleo, let's say or keto, whatever is popular, you know, you don't have to, keto, you don't have to, um, you don't have to go after popular stuff. You can do your own, actually you should do your own. You should, should not just, don't care about research. Research is not as important as a self-experimentation. You have to self-experiment to get here. We're talking about experience here, all right? You can't just read yourself into this. You can't just think and um, you can't think yourself into this. You can't, you have to take action. These steps are super necessary. I mean, it's the only way. H how are you gonna get here if you don't train and eat properly? 
And that's why this has to go, you know? It's all connected, you know? It is all very, very connected. So you sacrifice all this stuff. You sacrifice all this stuff. Your lower desires, you get to your higher desire. This is your higher desire. And your lower desires are, so this is your higher desire. Your higher desire is the vision and who you want to be. These are your higher desires as well. And your lower desires is, you know, eating pizza and, you know, eating pizza and pasta and, and rice and all right. So rice, you can eat it sometimes perhaps, you know, if it works for you. And especially if you're Asian, you know, it depends on your region and, you know, your genetics. And there are a lot of stuff here that it depends on. All right. Some people have different gut bacteria. It doesn't inflame you the same same way so you gotta experiment to understand yourself you got you have to experiment with yourself you can't just wait for doctors to say stuff or wait for research you can't just wait for research life is moving on you know you gotta work on yourself you gotta work on yourself so so yeah these are the steps here these are the steps here these are the most important things the steps are the most important things you don't have to worry about anything here except the steps how to get here and you get here by removing this and removing you know just sitting all, all day long you gotta of course train and in the beginning you have to you know in the beginning you might be extreme and you you, you just cut out everything or you go you know of course gradually and you cut out some rice or or you cut out bread but you haven't cut out rice for example so that's one example uh, or you cut out potatoes or you know you change the potatoes to sweet potatoes that is a good one as well you, you change the bread to oatmeal and you know like pure oatmeal here not sugar table sugar has to go i don't care who you are table sugar has to go there there is no discussion there we don't discuss table sugar. Table sugar has to go. I'm not saying that sugar is bad. I'm saying table sugar has to go. All right. And all that garbage foods makes you sleepy, lethargic, unproductive. It makes you, you have headaches and you get headaches and you got to stop all, all the addictions as well. Not just sugar. All right. Coffee as well. Coffee makes you, coffee, coffee creates cortisol, all right? And cortisol is the stress hormone. You gotta cut coffee, you gotta cut it. All you need is training in the morning and eating properly. And then you get energized, resilient, strong. Did you, do you think Spartans drank coffee every morning? No way. And, and they were super, you know, strict and disciplined and motivated and they were you know, on the brink of death every day, based, well, every day, perhaps not every day, but very often. And so don't tell me that they weren't, you know, high achievers, all right? It's not just you are, are a high achiever. All right, so um, old self, old self, sacrifice. So you sacrificed all that stuff and you slowly get here, you shouldn't expect this vision to be, you shouldn't even expect it to be the way you imagine yourself being, all right? Because, because you won't look exactly how you think you look. Perhaps you'll be a little bit smaller here, but perhaps you have bigger shoulders than you thought. You have a strength that you will discover, all right? Perhaps you have these traps that are bigger Perhaps your, your, bice, um, your biceps or triceps are not that big, but your, I mean, your, your, you have other stuff that is your strength. So everyone has their genetic strength and, you know, we can't all be, you know, per but it's not about perfect genetics, all right? It is not about perfect genetics. You just need to reach your highest potential, your highest desire, and, or in the beginning, just higher desire because this will help you like incredibly all right 
you'll get rid of all sorts of you know internet ad addictions as well because you're working on yourself you, you, you remove all this stuff because and you stop thinking about other people's opinions and stuff like that and you become more productive because you focus on yourself or technically you're focused on yourself here to get here so so you focus on yourself but when you're here you still focus on yourself you just you perf so this is your core and <laughs> it's pretty funny I, I always talk about core and in training core is your uh, this is your core your your it, it because your core holds the lower body and the upper body so the core is the connector of the lower body and the higher body that is pretty interesting and core is also and also stomach you know gut bacteria and stuff like that because when you're eating pizza uh, or rice or, or pizza soda when you eat all that garbage uh, all that stuff go it's connected to your brain as well uh, with the dopamine here and not just dopamine but serotonin oxytocin all these chemicals all these you know natural drugs in your brain your brain tr produces drugs and molecules you know ketones and stuff like that energy it can take from fat and create energy but it can create from anything like protein and fat and you know carbs not anything but uh, and so so everything is connected you see your gut your core is connected with your brain and depending on what you eat if you put garbage in it will be garbage in and it will be garbage out from your mouth your ideas and let's say you're writing something or philosophizing I don't care uh, business you have you know creative all this is connected to your gut and your brain your gut depending on what bacteria gets produced in your gut this will affect your if you're lethargic if you're you know pro essentially if you're productive because you know depends on what you eat you put garbage in you get garbage out it, you're uncreative you don't have a business you, you don't have good business ideas you, you don't know how to um, how to expand your business how to go to the next step uh, you don't know how to go to the next step in philosophy you don't know how to go to the next step in your writing either it's all about the next steps as well all right there we got something new here you see my philosophy is always you know it always change well it's not always changing but the core is uh, the same but you know you, you, you you're seeing my process here and this is actually making everything much clearer even to me so this is great so so you eat, stop eating when you stop with the garbage and you eat better stuff let's say ancestrally ancestral diet I call it ancestral diet because our ancestors weren't mediocre they had great bodies they were resilient they were strong they were focused they when you fast you're super focused when you're fast and they were great at fasting you gotta be great at fasting as well so you eat ancestrally you put greatness in your in your core your stomach here and your core you put greatness in here and greatness will come I mean you will will you will be focused and strong and resilient because the gut bacteria you won't just you know your your um, your dopamine receptors won't go crazy haywire here they will instead you know your brain will produce it instead in its own way and you won't you know you won't be addicted to others like let's say social media so and you won't hit those dopamine receptors all the time now obviously you will always hit it in some sense and with training as well and so forth but it is a much better way to do it because people are just you know procrastinating with you know social media and other stuff you know or drinking or partying and stuff like that all that stuff is garbage 
this is what you need to be truly satisfied. All those other things are just temporary lower desires. These are just, these are just temporary. The pizza is just a temporary lower desire. And if you just, well, technically, if you continue eating it every day, it's not temporary, it's your whole life, but you're ruining your health. You're ruining your life. If you put greatness in your stomach, greatness will come to the brain and out of your mouth and you will cr have creative ideas. You will, you will know the steps of your business, the steps of your philosophy, the steps of your writing. You will understand yourself better. You will get to your instincts. You will get your instincts. You, instincts because, you know, your brain is prefrontal cortex, but it's also, you know, your inner salamander, as I, as I call it. When you eat ancestrally, because you eat ancestrally, you get closer to instincts because our ancestors were instinctual. They were very instinctual, our ancestors. You can see here. instincts you develop your instincts you you get closer to your ancestors this is all, all of this is part of the steps to get there to get here all right you want to get you know you want to be better writer you want to be a better philosopher you want to be a better business person you want to be more creative you want to be a better husband or everything everything is connected to this Everything is connected to this. That's why diet and exercise are the two, two most important things you have to change in the beginning. Well, not just in the beginning, always. That, that's why I emphasize diet and exercise. You put that stuff in your core, your core, depending on bacteria as well, you will feel much better energized. You don't have mood swings anymore. You don't have food addictions. You've eliminated all that stuff and you're focusing on yourself and thus you don't focus on social media and other people's opinion and when you continue focusing on yourself you there's only one thing you think of you only think of your business your work your creativeness your relationships with the people you love and not just love them well husband or you know wife um, you, or uh, you know, uh, your children and and your your friends, friends and whoever it is, and you love. You start loving yourself. That is super important. You start loving yourself because you're finding an interest in yourself. You keep on improving this character. That's why I say you know character. And like Heraclitus says, character is destiny. And he's correct. Because you change your destiny by building your character. This is your character. All right? The whole thing is your character. Your, your bacteria, you're not alone. You have bacteria with you all the time. You were born, you, you weren't born alone, you will die not alone either. You'll, you're never alone. So you don't have to think about loneliness at all. You're never alone. You're always with your gut bacteria, all right? So, so, um, so yeah, garbage in, garbage out, or greatness in, greatness out. That is the truth. And you start loving yourself. You reach your higher desire, and you, but you will feel motivated because you will see progress in these steps. You will get closer and closer to this. You will see some results, you know. Oh, here, I have, oh, I have a little bit of results. So you continue. I want to have more results. I want to have more results until I get to this. But perhaps you're not even, you know, um, 
you're not even satisfied with this, you want to get to this, you know, or, well, not the text, but another guy here, and you want to go to this guy here, because this guy is super successful. Perhaps he's a millionaire or something. Doesn't matter what it is. Perhaps he's super famous philosopher. Doesn't matter what it is. Super famous athlete. Not just famous, but the best athlete, the best philosopher, the best businessman. All right? That is success. The best is the success, not just the money or fame. All right? Now, it is a part of it, but it's not just that. It's the, the same way health is connected to aesthetics and feeling good. Now, if you look good, it is more likely that you, you are good and you are more healthy, all right? Because this is not healthy. And if you're obese, it's even less healthy. It's even less healthier than that. But this is not healthy because you're not satisfied in life. You're not satisfied with yourself. That's why it's not healthy. Unsatis unsatisfaction is unhealthy. Satisfaction is healthy. All right, so you get here. And as you can see, I'm doing these, it's like a shoulder or something, uh, but you see, you're a spectrum. You're a spectrum here. You see, this is all a spectrum. And when you're here, you'll realize that, oh my, Oh my God, I've changed from this to this, or even better, to this. I've gone from this to this. I'm so proud of myself. It is incredible. I can do pull-ups now. I can do 50 pull, well, I can't do 50, I don't think so, but I can do like, doesn't matter much because if you put weight on, you can do less, but uh, perhaps I can do like 30 or 40 now. Perhaps I can do 50. I've, I've never tried. I don't train the same way as other people. You know, it, it flux, fluctuates, all right? And I'm not too worried about all that stuff. You're not aiming to be, most people are not aiming to be the best athlete, but you still have to be great, you know. You still have to have a great body or, you know, you still have to be great at the exercise you love because that will help you with work. That will help you with work. Let's put that, let's put work here. Um, that looks like a brain, so I will keep that. But I hope you understand what I'm saying here. I hope you understand what I'm saying here. So, so yeah, you have all these, this is a spectrum of you, you know, it, it takes, takes time. Everything that is great takes time. Everything that is great takes time, all right? And it's towards health. This is healthier and this is even healthier. And then this version of you is even healthier and you just increase your health, just continue like this. And you're, you're a spectrum. Each and every day, you're a new, like, this is your old self. Uh, <laughs> this is your new self. This is your new self. Well, this is your new self. This is your new self. This is your new self. Like each and every day, you have a new self. Each and every day you improve yourself if you're improve if you're improving yourself if you take action and improve yourself You will be a new self each and every day. I'm a new self today tomorrow. Well each and every picosecond Planck second. All right, that's the in the in physics. That's the theoretical, you know shortest, you know time span a Planck second all right Every Planck second, you're a new person. Every Planck second, the universe is a new thing. Every Planck second, there is a change in molecules. So that's why Heraclitus is correct when everything is in constant change. Because you're constantly changing yourself each and every day. This is what Nietzsche talks of when he speaks of 
overcoming yourself uh, humanity is to be overcome you know this is it you overcome your shadow past I actually call it the shadow you know you're competing with your own shadow that is what I always talk about you're competing with your own shadow and only your own shadow you don't compare yourself to others now obviously you have these mentors and ideals but uh, still you don't compare yourself to them because you have other stuff you know you have work and you have your work and you have your relations and other relations and other you know dreams you shouldn't kill your dreams you should work on your dreams you should work on your dreams I'm doing my dream right now I've done a lot of dreams you got to work on all your dreams all right and each and every day each and every step you take all these steps are connected with your old self or new self constant new self and the steps are like this as well this is you and these are your steps all right and it continues like that all your life all right all your life until you're here but not just until you're here you are never satisfied there is another one and there is another one until you can't do it any longer which means death <laughs> so but you don't ruminate on death you only ruminate on how to get here which are the steps to get here and not just which are the steps but taking those steps don't just research on how to get here do the stuff do the push-ups you have to do the push-ups you have to start now and do them and do like 10 10 times um, do like 10 pu if you only can do 10 push-ups then do 10 push-ups do do uh, four sets of those and do four different variations of those and your set and do that in the beginning you have to be super ambitious and because this won't work if you're just you know mediocre here you gotta do like I'm gonna train one hour one hour each and every day I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna take a rest uh, on a, a Saturday and Sunday I'm gonna train every day that's in the beginning all right that's if you're skinny and in the beginning or if you're obese you have to fast first get rid of your fat your garbage and get healthier that's more important but you can train of course when you're obese as well a little bit but not too much don't stress your you know knees and stuff like that don't don't just run if you're obese stop just running and stuff like that keep fasting water fasting that's it all right so so like I wanted to say about like health and aesthetic so you look good and you feel good you will feel better I mean you're training so if you even have depression here your old self in your lower desires when you're eating garbage but you cut them out slowly slowly or, or immediately it depends on the person and and both things are fine because this is still a process even if you cut it even if you cut let's say coffee you most likely have a lot of stuff you have to cut more you still have to self-experiment and find your diet all right there is no ultimate diet now obviously you can go carnivore that's the most ancestral you know but uh, that's not gonna cut it for most people so so it's only high 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 achievers that do those things they are great well not all of them but uh, because they're not great in other stuff sleep meditation others are other things they're still stressed so you gotta be great at all these things but once you once you get a little bit closer here you will feel like okay i can i can i can do some meditation as well you know i can fix i can fix my sleep problems a little bit i can fix my well you have training and diet i can fix my you know relationships a little bit here perhaps or i'm gonna wait for that 
and focus on my work instead. I actually think that is better. You focus on your work because you stop focusing on people and people's opinions. That's why keep the, keep the relationship stuff, keep the people stuff a little bit better, uh, later. Now, obviously work can be about people as well, but you only focus on the task when it comes to work, all right? Doesn't, even if you're handling people, that is your task. So, so yeah. All right, so when you feel good, you will feel better and you will see results and you will feel better, all of that is connected. And you will look better, you will look better and you will feel better because aesthetics and feeling and emotion and thought and thoughts and mindset, all of that is connected. And that is in your new self, but this is not, there is no, oh, this is my new self and now I'm done. No, you continue. This is my new self, this is my new self, all right? But you feel good when you feel good. If it feels good, you're on the right path. And you're, you're on the right path of developing yourself, your character, you're building your character, having an interest in yourself, and you get closer to your instincts, your instincts. And when you're closer to your instincts, you will understand your purpose. Purpose it has an aim. Purpose has a direction. It's not like the meaning of life. Meaning of life is just value and meaning. But purpose is goal and direction and your task in life, your work. And you will have, you will realize on this path you will realize your work, purpose, yeah, desire as well, of course. And it is your higher desire to, to work with something you're passionate about, something you're, you're um, striving towards, something that will help humanity, help others. You, have to, you will realize on this path that once you've fixed yourself, you can fix others, you can help others. And that is why you, you will want to work with helping others. I mean, that's one of the first purpose principles. I will explain those prim principles perhaps tomorrow or we will talk about owning yourself as a principle tomorrow. We'll see. But yeah, so this is your higher desire. You continue like this. You feel better. You continue like this and you will become high on life instead of high on, you know, on pizza, on sodas, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. You won't care about people's opinion on Facebook. It is nothing to you now, all right? It is nothing to you now. You don't, you don't care. I mean, it's so low. It's so low. It's low on life. Low, it's, it's, it's beneath you, all right? It's beneath you, beneath you. It is nothing. I wanna go here towards health. Those people who procrastinate and are addicted to social media and stuff, they're unhealthy. This is unhealthy. This is healthy. This is what we should strive for. And speaking of purpose, this is your purpose. This is your purpose. You yourself are your purpose. You're your purpose in life. All right. This is your purpose. This is your project. You can call it project, purpose, you're designing yourself, you're whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter, the language doesn't matter, all right? It is all the same thing. That is why I'm not speaking about a system, this is just reality, I'm just explaining. Some people might think this is obvious, but obviously it is not obvious, obviously. Because people still don't understand this. And the only way is by taking action, by taking the steps, you can't get here. And the best evidence for this is training and exercise and diet because you can't, you can't cheat here, all right? You can't make excuses here because if you want to get that great body, you have to work out, you have to push yourself, you have to be consistent with yourself and your task, you have to, you have to be consistent with your diet, you have to be consistent, consistently improving something changing and changing you're changing so the principle of change is always here always always every day even even if you're in a low low life <laughs> even if you're in a low low state of being all right 
in this in this self even then you're technically changing every day but you're not actually moving towards something uh, you don't have a goal you don't have a purpose that is why you don't have a purpose all right but so I hope you understand what I'm saying here if you if you don't you can comment down below I will explain or I will make another video like this all right and explain things in a different way perhaps but so that's because you don't have a purpose because you don't have a goal you're not working towards something but you're still changing so let's say you're in you know you're looking at Twitter every day you're you have this work you don't like and that's I will speak I will most likely speak of um, owning yourself tomorrow it is important uh, it is an important um, it's an important principle because you will never reach satisfaction I don't care how 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 well you are are successful at your work you will never find satisfaction unless you work with a process you love every process has to have love now that that is joy in the process that's another principle these are all connected all the time you know you got to do calisthenics to get here I had to do calisthenics to get here I have abs and I have you know chest muscles and stuff like that now I can do push-ups pull-ups squats you know all that stuff I can do pistol squats I have a video on that perhaps I will insert it here so here are some pistol squats I just want to show that your higher desire this is where this is basically where this is basically where I got my ideas of higher desire <laughs> and just show you that it is possible to get somewhere all right and I'm not gonna say oh yeah I'm not special or like I said yesterday I don't have a, the best body what I mean is I don't have my fullest potential yet my genetic potential I want to reach that because you know I, I'm never satisfied I want to continue I'm still here you know I'm still going like this all right but you have to start somewhere now let's finish that thought like of course when you're in low in, in your lowness in your low low life so to speak you don't have a goal you don't have a direction all right like velocity in physics has a direction speed doesn't have a direction you might be fast but you don't have a direction that is that this is great this is actually great I just invented it right now but so the same way with purpose you might have a passion but you don't have a direction all right because you're not working on yourself you don't know your instincts you don't understand any of this you don't understand yourself that is why you don't have a direction you don't have a direction because you don't understand yourself you have to work on yourself you have to build your character then you can understand that is why I'm speaking of first foundation and then a second foundation of creating your habits and towards your purpose your passionate work but you have to work on yourself first otherwise you will never understand this that's why people go backwards in life perhaps they're successful in something and they even love it perhaps in some sense but later they don't love it anymore like in the beginning they might love it they're successful but they they confuse success with purpose and you know 
life satisfaction. They're not satisfied because they're not doing something they love the process of and each and every process of it. So the same way when I'm doing my calisthenics, I love each and every process of it. I love pull-ups, I love squats, and I can do stuff, I can change, and you know, you have so much freedom within calisthenics. I, I wanna be big with calisthenics, let's say, and so I train that way, I do the basics, I don't care for tricks, so I only focus on that and I will get there. But if I focus on tricks and stuff, I won't get there, and I won't be satisfied, and the same will be in work. Let's say you might love, you know, um, uh, let's say you, you love property investment, all right? Let's say you love properties, real estate. Let's, uh, let's say you love real estate, you love selling real estate, um, but you're, you don't love this job you're doing right now because, because, and the main thing, I will get to this tomorrow. It, this will be better tomorrow. But uh, you don't love it because you don't own your own business with it. So you're not progressing, you're not doing all those necessary steps to get there, all right? Whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is. If you're a filmmaker, not only do you have to understand the basics of filmmaking or photography, if you wanna be a photographer, let's say, if you work for someone else, you don't own yourself and you won't be satisfied. Now. If you don't work the way you want to work within photography and filmmaking, if you're using, let's say, cameras or something, lightning, lighting you don't like, or you know stuff like that, you're working with people you don't like and so forth. You don't like the process, then you know you gotta love the process. Then you you change. You gotta change. Okay, I want to work with those kinds of people because that is we have a similar vision there. And then you love the process with those people because each and every day will be a struggle. It will be a struggle because it's very hard to make a film. It is very hard to take great photographs and sell them and be great at it, to excel in it. Everything is hard, all right? Everything is hard. I said life is easy, but life is simple. Life is simple, but not easy, all right? I said easy yesterday. What I meant is simple. And I meant 13.8 billion, not three, all right? So, but you know, you, you, you learn, you learn each and every step, all right? So you have to love each and every step, like, all right, so in, the, in calisthenic, you know, I love experimenting with my diet and stuff. I, I, I love changing, at first I did some Vipassana meditation and then, you know, imagery and visual stuff. But then I noticed, well, that doesn't help me with, you know, relaxing that much. I love visual stuff, but, and the Vipassana is not, you know, that deep in some sense. So then I tried Dzogchen instead, or closer to it, and Dzogchen has become my meditation. This is what works for me. So you gotta find what works for you within each and every, you know, perhaps you are good at real estate and but you've got to find something else there. You've got to get out of your comfort zone and try something other things within that, and then you will get better, all right? And you've got to find and love the process of this. you gotta, you got to love, you know, you got to love to be, you know, curious here. Curiosity is uh, one of the best, you know, drivers, all right? Today I wanna, today I, I'm gonna eat carnivore for one week and see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna do like 100 push-ups every day and see what happens. Perhaps you even take pictures so you understand what happened. You see some results or you see no results. And, you, and perhaps you'll understand, well, if I, if I do this exercise, this exercise, pistol squats are actually much more effective than you know, regular squats. Why even do the regular squats? I can just do pistol squats, more of them, and then something similar, and it will be much, you know, more effective. And I will decrease my time, uh, wasting my time on, uh, you know, I can work instead and so forth. So the same with real estate, cut the nonsense, get to uh, listen to your instinct, but you can't do that unless you've 
you listen to your instinct and your user prefrontal cortex, you know, the doubt, you use that and you, you connect it with your, your instincts, but you can't do that unless you've, you know, worked on yourself. So I can speak of all of that stuff, but you gotta do the stuff to understand what I'm saying. You can't just listen to this. You gotta do it. All right. So, so, so self. Why is it an E here? Should be self, old self. All right. Let's finish that thought. I didn't finish it. All right. So you might be in a lower life here. I hope people under, wait, before I get to that again, I just wanna, I hope people understand what I'm saying here. Like, perhaps you, you think you have to know more about SEO, search engine optimization in business. So you teach yourself the basics, you experiment, and you see what works, but you gotta do hard work, and you gotta love the process of understanding CEO, all right? If you don't love the prop, even in real estate, if you don't love the process of working with these people selling, you know, stuff, uh, well, estates, uh, with selling, if you don't love working with people, you don't love, you know, with these kind of people, and you don't love, you know, each and every process, if you don't love each and every process, you have a problem, all right? You have a deeper problem. You gotta work on yourself. That is a clue there. You gotta work on yourself. That is a super clue towards health. Hell. And you're not healthy unless you love each and every process. You gotta love each and every process to get there. You gotta change, constantly change, experiment, and see what you like and you don't like, even within your work. That is the whole point there, all right? Doesn't matter which work it is, doesn't matter which work you do, you gotta love each and every process in it. If you don't love each and every process in your work, something is wrong, you gotta change, you gotta change. If, if you don't love something you're doing right now, let's say in SEO, I was doing some stuff, I didn't love it, I stopped. And I changed and did some other SEO stuff, and this was much more fun, all right? That is why my uncle, like I said with the story yesterday, with the cheese, you gotta find your own cheese. You can do SEO this way, you can do SEO that way, you can do SEO this way, and a fourth way. There are a billion ways to do calisthenics, like, Calisthenics, all right? Calisthenics. There are like a billion ways to do calisthenics as well. And I found my calisthenics. And you have a billion ways to do a diet, but let's take instead, uh, uh, well, diet. All right? There are different ways to do all these stuff. And that's what I'm saying when I say, you know, you gotta change. All right, I didn't like this way I did SEO, all right? I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna do this instead. All right, I, I like this. So each and every step, this is a process. So each, you gotta love each and every process. That is how you get here. You gotta love, so, all right, so okay, okay, I found my way. Or I found closer to my way and I'm perfecting it. Perhaps this SEO here, is very closely, well, they're all, all, all are related, but I like this, but perhaps if you don't get out of your comfort zone, perhaps you'll love this more. So it's the same with real estate or whatever business you have, you know, um, perhaps it's digital marketing, um, photography, filmmaking, if you're creative, whatever it is, you have to find your and that's what people mean by finding your own voice. Well, you develop your own voice. You don't, you don't find stuff, all right? It's not like a treasure. Well, it is a treasure, but the treasure is you. You're your temple, you, you are the temple, you're the treasure. So I am here, I like this, 
but this is a little bit better, all right? I like this kind of SEO, it's much more fun. And not just fun, well, it is fun, it is, but I love the struggle within this. I don't love the struggle within this, this kind of SEO. I, I kind of like, or love, like the struggle in this SEO, but I love the struggle in this SEO. I love the struggle in this diet. I love the struggle in this uh, workout in calisthenics. I love this one. I don't love the tricks one. I don't love, you know, just for the sake of it or something like that, you know. That is one form of calisthenics, you know, mediocre. No, I love getting big on calisthenics. Being functional, but yet big, muscles. But I don't care for the tricks. So I don't do the tricks. I don't, I mean, sometimes you can be playful. Sometimes perhaps I want to try this again, you know. All right, let's head back and see what, what, it, what that was, you know. The same with your work. It's the same with your work. That's what I mean by you might love, you might still like the, 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 the subject you're in, in your work. You don't have to abandon everything. You might still like it, but it's just not the form you're doing in, doing it in, all right? The same way, let's take Steve Jobs or something. You might, uh, he did, you know, Apple has evolved as well. Like every company evolves, you know? He evolved, the company evolved. Starts with computers, but then it gets closer and closer. Like they got great with computers, but still that's not, you know, the Apple, the vision, the ultimate vision. The ultimate vision was to create, you know, beautiful minimalistic stuff that works. They have to separate it. They, they had to separate themselves from Microsoft. But Microsoft, you know, it was ugly, but it worked way better. And, you know, everyone used it, used it. But Jobs, Jobs took the market of phones, which uh, Bill Gates didn't, all right? So, and they've tried many times, but they can't. And they tried with Zoom, <laughs> if you guys remember that, with, you know, but Apple were better with the iPod. The, uh, when, they get, when they got to the iPod, they had super success, Apple. So they realized, well, we're onto something here, all right? This kind, I, we, we have computers here, we have com computers here, but within electron, so it's technically electronics. Electronics, we have electronics here. Electronics here, all right? My, my, my strength is in th this kind of stuff as well because I was brought up with a PC. I've had a PC my whole life, um, but still I like jobs, I like, you know, uh, he has some great ideas. I like Gates as well, all right? These are great people. They are very smart, but they could be even better. I mean, imagine if they worked on themselves like this. It would be insane. It would be insane. Bill Gates, he would be beyond this world, all right? Now, Jobs obviously isn't here anymore, but, which is too bad, but what can you do? can do it. You can't just, you know, don't ruminate on this stuff. So, so, now that he isn't here, you become something greater, something as great or even greater. I mean, you can't be the same. This is perhaps me, but there is a different version. This is you also, but we're not the same, all right? We're different people, all right? Now, electronics, you see, computers, but then you have, you know, um, music electronics as well, like the Walkman and stuff like that, uh, radio before that, and, you know, gramophone and so forth. Now, young people don't even understand what I'm saying, perhaps, but, well, you, you should, you should know, you know, you should know. Learn something, go on Wikipedia and learn something. Wikipedia is pretty good. It's not as bad as people make it out to be, all right? Or used to make it out to be. So, but Jobs, he found, you know, okay, so they were with computers, 
But then Jobs found, you know, wait, the music stuff, all right? But it is very close to, and he connected that later, you know, you had PDAs. You know, these business people had PDAs. So he just connected PDA, PDA, I, I promise you that it, I, I, I'm not sure how he did it, but <laughs> this is my theory on how he did it. Like the music stuff, all right, so, okay, we enjoy this better, you know, we have more success here, but not just that. It is getting closer to his vision, to uh, Jobs' vision, all right? So it is getting closer to the vision, you know? This is the vision. It's even closer to the vision and even closer to the vision, all right? And you can look at it like this as well. So this is the vision, the first version stuff. They got good at it, but it's still not better. They could never beat Microsoft. They beat Microsoft here, all right? Because they started a different path. They have more character than Microsoft. Microsoft has character because they had to, you know, separate themselves from every, I mean, it was super new back then. But Jobs has even more character because he had to develop himself, you know, insanely. You know? He had to take the uncomfortable zone here, all right? And then he connected it even better, used his creativity, because he's not even eating garbage, and he wasn't, actually. And I think he started meditating and stuff like that as well. And he used his creativity, and imagine you can eat even better than Steve Jobs. Imagine what you can do, all right? And connect all these things. And so he connected it with PDA, something similar to where he was going. But imagine the PDA plus phone. The PDA plus phone, and then you have, you have the smartphone, all right? PDA, the touch screen from PDA plus phone, like, you know, for mainstream, you know, stuff. And developing all these apps and programs that work with this. And we call it application, you know, we invent a new word. Well, it's not a new word, but we invent something new, apps. And there you have it. We dominate because we found, we, but we love the process. We love the process. Gro going from computers to Walkman to, um, to iPod, to Mac, to iPod, to iPhone, to Mac, iPod, iPhone. We love the process. He loved the process, otherwise he would have ended it. I'm looking at this, it looks crazy, but I hope you understand what I'm saying here, all right? If you don't understand what I'm saying here, ask and I will answer. All right, so let's head back a little bit to, I was talking about, you know, spectrum of, of you know, existence, basically, and your life and so so yeah you can actually change but you don't have a direction this is a direction this is a direction you have goal you have a higher desire then you have a direction when you have a higher desire you have a direction you have something all right you have something to work with but if you constantly eat let's say you eat pizza all the time you will just go in let's remove all this stuff here all right, let's do this clean and simple. All right, <laughs> this guy looks crazy now. He looks dirty. <laughs> now he looks thin as well. Whatever, whatever. Doesn't have to be perfect, you know? Doesn't matter. We're not even going to look at that guy anymore, so. All right, this is you right now. And you're just, it doesn't matter if you're thin or obese, you're still eating garbage. You eat pizza. You eat all this low stuff. 
low life all right low life a soda and you just continue like this so you do change this is you but tomorrow you will eat lasagna <laughs> or you know uh, you will eat you, you'll perhaps you walked here walk but you didn't walk here uh, bed all day <laughs> or something on the sofa so you're just moving around like this you are changing there is always change there is always change but you don't have a direction you don't have a direction all right garbage in garbage out in work let's say Gar or technically it's from your mouth and well your brain mouth whatever everything everything is connected all of this stuff is connected so you're just going round and round you have your perhaps this person now you're this person now you're this person but you don't go I'm this person now I'm this person now I'm this person now you don't do that you go like this I'm this person now I'm this person now I'm this person now what's the point of that that is a meaningless life that is a meaningless life all right stop doing that that is a meaningless life there is no point to that you gotta develop yourself you gotta work on yourself keep on working on yourself all right I'm done I'm done today all right so if you have any problems with this you can contact me email is down below you can watch and keep re-watching this stuff to understand what I'm saying and apply everything I'm saying apply everything apply the mindset start changing something cut out the table sugar get better it is you know you have to sacrifice it you have to sacrifice the low desire you have to get rid of it right now all right you have to get rid of it you don't like it you don't like it you're sick of yourself that is another great thing I was that's how I started <clears throat> I was so sick of myself I was so sick of myself eating all this garbage feeling you know mood swings every day every day all right and then I stopped doing that and decided to change and only focus on my health I only wanted to get healthy that's the only thing I was thinking of that is why health is the most important all right because that will be your biggest drive all right so you can visit my Facebook stuff you can add me on Facebook even if you want to uh, you can check my Quora you can check my Facebook page um, keep on watching here commenting whatever uh, whatever you like and um, like I always say keep on working on yourself keep on focusing on yourself do all these steps get better and better and better you will improve you will see results the results the temporary the immediate results not immediate but the the close results the closer results will feel will make you more motivated and motivated and just increase in the beginning you will feel like oh I'm more energized but then you will feel oh I see results in aesthetics and then you just continue all right it will take time you can't do all this stuff don't expect don't have unrealistic expectations just focus only on the steps nothing else don't focus on anything else and you will get there now everything will be great everything is fine and I will see you tomorrow